Trail cameras are used by hunters and animal lovers alike to keep tabs on nature. They can be set up almost anywhere, and using inbuilt motion sensors, the camera is triggered whenever something in the vicinity moves. It's perfect for tracking animals from a distance, but with nobody watching, sometimes these cameras capture more than their owners bargain for. Let's check out some of the weirdest things ever captured on trail cams. Oh dear. Deer are some of the world's most majestic animals, but sometimes their own antlers can compromise their dignity. Like this guy who really decided to put the buck in bucket. A beta board user by the name of Emu Man posted this incredible trail cam shot for the internet to see back in 2009. Apparently, his neighbor, an avid hunter, was baffled when he found the bizarrely comical moment on the trail cam he used to see what wildlife frequented the local area. After all, carrying around that burden, potentially for months as far as we know, isn't exactly the usual way of completing your bucket list. Nature's Apex Predator Ah uh, yes, nature's most ridiculous predator caught on tape, the clown. This trail cam footage was captured in Pennsylvania in September 2016. It followed a spate of creepy clown sightings across the USA from August through September of the same year. Now, this clown clearly knows where the camera is and seems quite confident in his budget joker routine, but it doesn't exactly make it look like he's got a lot going on at home. If you're bored enough to wander around local woods in an ill-fitting clown suit, I'd suggest Tinder, not trail cams. Natural Relief Sometimes when nature calls, you have no choice but to answer. This unfortunate image was captured by Dave York, a Californian user at bowsite.com. Dave's profile on the site claims he usually uses the trail cam to help him hunt, and he's proudly posted other photos of his hunts. But wait a minute. Is it just me or does he look slightly familiar? Could it be that he forgot where his trail cams were when he was out hunting and accidentally snapped a different kind of nature taking its course? The photo came with no explanation, so it's not beyond the realms of possibility. Remember kids, if you're ever caught short, always check for cameras first. Owl and the Pussycat Looks like somebody's cat got accepted to Hogwarts. Although it's a little less magical when you realize this huge barred owl, captured on a trail cam in Minnesota 2012, probably sees the cat as its next meal. Barred owls in this area are known for taking on larger prey by hoisting it into the air with a powerful wingspan that can reach 50 inches. They then drop their prey from up high to stun it and prevent it from fighting back. I guess no one told this owl that cats usually land on their feet. Don't moose with me. Do you think of moose as terrifying animals? No? How about now? Although it looks like this demonic moose just headbutted its way out of hell, the truth is that he's just growing into his antlers. The strange draping you see hanging off the bloody antlers is called velvet, a soft skin that coats the antlers that moose shed as they gain more testosterone during mating season. Eventually, the structure beneath hardens to bone, and when the season is over, he'll literally shake the outer layers off. Who shook it off better, the moose or Taylor Swift? Let me know in the comments down below. Target practice. If you thought a deer with a bucket in its horns was madness, take a look at this poor guy. According to internet sleuths on ArkansasHunting.net, this white-tailed buck appears to have tried his hand at a little target practice. Target deer are designed to help improve a hunter's aim, but back in 2011, this deer seems to have got confused and charged a target deer assuming it was a rival, leaving it stuck in his antlers. His inanimate opponent never stood a chance. Teamwork. With their little burglar eye mask markings, many people believe raccoons are just nature's thieves, but they're also surprisingly smart, as proven in this trail camera image. Reddit user Stephanator117 claims that, about six years ago, she set her deer feeder high off the ground so other animals couldn't get to it. She thought this would save food for the deer, but these pesky raccoons found a way to work together, climbing on top of each other like a circus act in order to reach the food above. I knew they looked like little bandits for a reason. Head to head. So you've seen surprising trail pictures of deer with all manner of bizarre things stuck in their antlers, but I promise you, this one tops them all. Taken in 2014, this image shows what used to be two elk that clearly went head to head at one point. It seems that during their running, their horns became locked together, resulting in a complete stalemate until one of them died, most likely from starvation. Elk running season usually kicks off in September, but this trail footage is dated in January, meaning they may have been locked together for over five months. 
Damn, nature is metal. Animal friendship. In December 2018, a husky named Coda ran away from her family's home in Manitoba, Canada. After several days, she finally reappeared, but it turned out she wasn't alone on her little adventure. The family's neighbor kept game cams around the area, and when he checked them, he found multiple triggered shots of the missing husky hanging around, sleeping, and being affectionate with a wild buck. It's the most unlikely of friendships, but the timestamps indicated the two stayed together for over 12 hours. It's not the most mainstream of pairings. I wonder if the pumps will have antlers. Bigfoot or Barefoot? In 2013, along the mountain ranges of Southwest Virginia, trail camera user Roger Williams caught a photo of something that he couldn't believe. A large hulking black mask with bare arms and legs, almost humanoid in appearance. Once it reached the internet, it was met with masses of Bigfoot and Sasquatch fans claiming the beast was a legendary monster. But on closer inspection, that doesn't seem half as likely when compared to this image of a mangy bear. Mange is a skin disease in mammals caused by parasitic bites, characterized by severe itching and hair loss. It's a condition that can make dog paws look like monster feet, and most likely in this case, bears look like Bigfoot. Weird Deer Now here's an image that'll make you do a double take. This particularly unusual buck was apparently caught on trail camera around Nantucket back in 2013. The bulging sacks on its head may look like water balloons, but those are actually its antlers. Every year, bucks grow their antlers before mating season, and like all bodily growth, this requires blood and protein. Early in the season, the main branches of both of this buck's antlers were seemingly injured at the same time, causing blood to pool down into those bulging sacs known as drop tines. But don't worry, he can shed them and start fresh next year. If only all head injuries could be fixed so easily. Shake it off. Don't blink or you might just miss this next shot. In January 2020, at the end of the deer mating season, this eight-point buck was captured shaking its head so fast that both of its antlers were shed simultaneously. It happened so fast, even the deer was freaked out as the antlers clattered to the ground. The video was captured in Northfield, Vermont by Ann Savori, who uses trail cams to keep tabs on the wildlife in her local area. Not believing what she saw, Ann claimed she went out and found both the antlers as proof of the event. That deer sure knows how to shake things up following the deer. Trail cameras aren't always used for their intended purpose. Take this 2012 series called Following the Deer by photographer William Harper, for example. His supposed trail cam photos have circulated around the internet, claiming to capture odd occurrences in the Skokie Lagoons, a mythical sounding nature reserve in Chicago. Like this older gentleman who seems really happy talking to a deer in the dead of night. Or this young, seemingly lost girl standing between two deer, including one where she appears milliseconds away from being hit by a charging buck. Unfortunately though, despite what internet forums initially claimed, these trail cam captures are really the product of a lot of artistic license and a heaping portion of Photoshop. Mousekeeping. It's not often you catch something wholesome on a trail cam, so this next piece of footage should leave you feeling nice and fuzzy inside. A 72-year-old retired English electrician set up a trail cam in his shed after he believed someone was playing a prank on him. He kept finding tools he'd left out on purpose had been mysteriously tidied away by the next morning, even though he lived alone. Was some strange helper breaking into his shed at night to clean up? Nope, even stranger. What he actually found was that a resident mouse was responsible for his tidy workbench, inexplicably heaving away his tools back into the toolbox every night. The mouse may have been displaying a kind of nesting behavior, but I like to think this is just Stuart Little's long-lost cousin with a penchant for DIY. Battle of the Bulge At first glance, this doe looks like she's going through a pretty tough pregnancy. But on closer inspection, it's clear to see that that ain't no baby bump. Just like humans, deer can't always escape medical complications. And this looks like it could be a giant tumor, or maybe even a hernia gone horribly wrong. If it's the latter, that means it could have been caused by trauma to its midsection, like being hit by a car or even a recent birth. Forget the deer, now I feel traumatized. Albine no way. Here's a question. What haunts the woods at night, appears bright white, and has been caught on camera? Did you think it was ghosts? Guess again, it's actually this incredibly rare albino deer buck. Captured back in 2011, the amazing color of the deer's coat is caused by a recessive gene that prevents the production of melanin, 
Without it, there's little or no natural pigment in the skin or hair, leaving it bright white. It's a rare occurrence, with research showing there's about a 1 in 20,000 chance of an albino fawn being born. Suffice it to say, this trail cam caught one very lucky shot. A deerkin. Have you ever been quietly minding your own business when suddenly something terrifying makes you jump? As it turns out, it happens in the animal kingdom as well. In October 2011, this Bordeaux got the fright of its life and flung itself sideways, only to have its cowardly actions captured on camera. Well, it either veered out the wrong way or it's just been hit by an invisible car. What do you think caused this massive swerve? Let me know in the comments. Sasquatch. Back in 2014, self-taught photographer Stevie set up a trail cam outside his home in Wisconsin. He was hoping to capture and admire the local wildlife, but what he wasn't expecting to capture was this legendary appearance of a Sasquatch lumbering around outside his house. While Wisconsin has had 99 recorded Bigfoot sightings in the last 21 years, it's still a shock to see the famous beast on camera. But before all the cryptozoologists take to the comments, let's take a more logical look at this photo. This two-legged shaggy figure also looks like someone dressed up in a ghillie suit. These are full coverage camouflage outfits designed to help wearers blend seamlessly into foliage. While they help hunters merge into the background, they can also be used in hilarious pranks like this. <laughs> so seeing as this supposed Sasquatch sighting is probably a prank, it looks like the ever elusive Bigfoot has yeti to be seen. Satanic panic. Ghosts definitely aren't real, right? Because if they're not, then how do you explain this creepy scene? Captured less than three minutes apart, these images seem to show the figure of a robed individual kneeling over in the midst of some unknown forest. Then the specter rises up and is strangely static, almost like it's letting the trail camera take a photo of it. What does it want the camera to see? This gives me the heebie-jeebies for a number of reasons. One, that doesn't look like a costume, unlike those earlier clowns. And two, it looks like they're praying? Who worships a deity in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night? Satanists? Cultists? Believers? Let me know who you think they're worshiping in the comments. CSI Nature. Now here's a pretty incredible crime scene you really have to see to believe. There's a raccoon and a coyote one up the tree and one at the bottom, both of which were found dead at the scene. But can you figure out what's happened here? Though I'm no crime scene detective, it would appear that the coyote chased the raccoon up the tree and then got its front paw stuck. It gnawed and clawed against the trunk as you can see from those markings, but was unable to get itself free. Without any means of escape, both animals died, leaving a scene that looks like some kind of Greek tragedy. Now that is what you call a draw naturally nosy. Pennsylvania may seem like any other state, except there's something a little weird about the deer here. This video from 2016 was captured in Lancaster County and shows a white-tailed deer buck with two noses. You can see one just poking out of the top of the other. Could there be something in the water making Lancaster game mutate? I mean, it's pretty hilarious to think deer in the area have started sprouting extra features to scare off hunters, but the reality is a little less funny. Dr. Justin Brown of the Pennsylvania Game Commission thinks the deer simply suffered an injury to its muzzle, exposing the nasal passages. There go my hopes and dreams of super mutant monstrosities giving hunters a run for their money. Dedication. On October 11, 2012, these creepy trail cam images were captured in Lundeberg County, Virginia. While it seems a little early for Halloween costumes, the ominous figures lurching towards the camera are giving off real Night of the Living Dead vibes. Look, you can even see the exposed ribs of the shrieking zombie leading the charge. But as with anything involving the supernatural, there's a lot to expose here. First start, this is a photo of a photo. You can tell by the lamp reflection on the left, unless lamps are classed as wildlife now. So maybe this is just a picture of a TV screen with a bad movie on it. Also, the second image is just a close-up of the first one with the date stamp placed over it. It's a pretty obvious fake, and while I appreciate the effort, 
maybe leave the shenanigans until October 31st. Dear God, can someone call a doctor for Bambi? He's not looking too good. This image of a pretty abnormal white-tailed deer was captured on a trail cam belonging to the Quality Deer Management Association in America. According to their reports, the deer is suffering from a common condition known as deer warts. And no, it's not just a really bad breakout of deer acne. These huge wart-like growths are called cutaneous fibromas. They're caused by a virus that affects the skin, and though it's not contagious or usually fatal, it definitely isn't a pretty sight. Jogging partner. At first glance, this heart-stopping trail cam image looks like a tragedy waiting to happen. But on closer inspection of the timestamp, you can tell this is actually a composite image, showing the same track at two different times of the day. The images were taken on Brush Road, just off California State Highway 17. Apparently in 2013, the Brush Road Company was attempting to verify reported sightings of a pair of mountain lions in the area. They decided to publish the composite to warn runners of the danger around the area. Seeing as it's technically the same path, it's just about honest enough to be a valid warning. Either way, the jogger here gets to run another day. For now. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen captured on a trail cam? Let me know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.